Guys, it's me at Games. Welcome back to some breaking news in Xenoverse 2. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm just gonna break down what's happening. So basically, data miners went. Data miners, which are people, if you don't know who that is, they dig into the files of the game and they find stuff like, um, you know, they just dig into the files to find out information about the next DLC packs. They've done it for every DLC pack. Every time an update comes out, there's usually information on the next few DLC packs. So some data miners went to the files. And there was just like, it was like two days ago or something, I think. There was just like a bunch of information, boom, 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 like back to back. There was just a bunch of information coming back. So, you know, I had to learn all the information before I can make a video on it. But, okay, yeah, I, it was just, there was so much stuff. So, yeah, there was a lot of things that were found out. So, we're just going to jump straight into this. You know, I'll show you like all the notes and stuff. And then, you know, some popular theories. Um, well, mo the biggest theory talking about is just a it's about a character that'll be in the game and really this is like rhyme styles theory i'm just passing it on you know i'm basically just passing on rhymes video i'm not going to copy it exactly clearly but i'm just passing on rhymes video but there was a bunch of information found out and it's just crazy so let's get into this all right so the first few all right so the first few new things that were revealed are there's going to be i think there's three more characters already out here i'm just going to read off the notes so first there's so I'm gonna read off the codes and stuff. So the first code is JRN, which is clearly gonna be Jiren, and he has two new supers, which is PWI and MED, and then his ultimate is PRH. Now, if you guys saw that Xenoverse a uh, three video that I made a while ago about characters in one of the game, I did mention Jiren, or or maybe it wasn't a Xenoverse three video. It was it was in a video, maybe it was my ultimate thing. I don't know. I made a video a while ago though, and I mentioned Jiren in there, and I said the old. For an ultimate or super type, well, actually an ultimate, they need to give him that, you know, that key blast where he launched away Kale and Kefla. Oh, no, I'm pretty sure this is my ultra instinct video. I'll link in the description, but he launched around, I mean, he, I said Kale and Kefla. He, la he launched out Hit and Kefla with it, that, you know, that key blast, and then he turns and poses, blows up. If that's his ultimate, yo, then I'm, Jiren is going to be so great, because I was just talking about, like, a little while ago, I was talking about how this should be his ultimate. So, like, now if they give it to him, it's like, bruh, that'll be lit. And then I don't know what his two new supers can be. Maybe MED is, like, meditation because you know how he sits there and meditates. Maybe. I don't know. But then, you know, his other two ult, uh, super attacks are probably – it's probably going to be, like, maximum charge. And then, I don't know, there's probably going to be another new move going in. I don't know. But this is all that's revealed for now. And then PRH, which I think is going to be that key blast thing, which if it is, then y'all, you already know I'm using that. All right. Then the next one, his code is F-U-U, -U, so foo. And it just says character number 150. That's that's what it, like his code is. It's foo. So that means he's probably going to be, that means he's going to be like the very last slot because he's the character 150 is going to be the last slot. Um, his super attacks are K-N-I-D-I-V-T-I-E-D-T. -I -I -E now, I have no idea who this character could be. Um... I know Rhyme Style in his initial video, his very first one, he said that it could be Fit Boo. But I mean, the only problem I see with that is what ultimates and supers could they give Fit Boo? Like, if it was Fit Boo. But now, another theory he said is it could be Fu, which is Toa and Mira's child. Which, that would actually be cool. Because uh, apparently this is called, like, the Infinite History um, DLC pack. Which would make sense if this was... Because I know we're getting new scenario quests, which is new story modes. So, everyone thought it was going to be Tournament Power. Even I did, but, like... Now, after, like, hearing the news and, like, what Rhyme said, um, it could actually just go into the story of Fu, and that could be the main thing for Xenoverse 3. And then, on top of that, if you listen to my Xenoverse 3 video about the story, they could still do that to where, like, you team up. You can either be a time patroller and fight against Fu, or you could be a time breaker and go team up with Fu, or whatever Fu's thing's going to be. It's probably time breaker still, but whatever he is. And Fu was only in Dragon Ball Online. And, I mean, the only reason that I've seen this, too, which I, I can understand this, the only reason this wouldn't make sense is because in this game, the universe, Toa created Mira. They're not married. So, I mean, unless they end up getting married or something, I don't know. But that's the only thing. So, I don't know. This one's kind of like a gray area. It's kind of a mysterious kind of character. You know, no one really knows what it's going to be. 
Uh, but Fu is the most popular theory because it's a new character. It would make sense for Xenoverse, and this is called Infinite History. So, I don't know. I I really could not tell you, and it's not fit Boo because why would they give him three new supers in an ultimate? Like it's just Boo, but skinny. That's all they'd have to do. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. Leave your theories in the comments because that's all I can. I don't know. Maybe maybe they'll do a different story for Fu. That could be it. Um, that it's like Toa and Mirror, like another one of Toa's creations or something. I don't know. Something. I don't know. They could do so many things with this. Like I on that's like the hype for this DLC pack. Um, yeah. So I I don't know. It probably is Fu, and that that story might even it could still go into Tournament of Power, but it might just be another thing. And then um, after that it says the super skill. Or I meant what am I talking about? Um. Next character, it says character number 148, which is R17, which I'm pretty sure that's going to be Ranger Android 17, which is, you know, that costume he got in Tournament Power. But the only thing with this is, like, if they give us Ranger 17, then why wouldn't they give us, like, Tracksuit 18 or whatever? But, you know, Tracksuit 18 could be in the free update. But, I mean, why would they give us the free update 18 but then make us pay for 17? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe... And that's that's the only thing. Like, I mean, it's definitely gonna be Ranger Seventeen. But why wouldn't they give us Eighteen? And then his new super skill is N M N V. Uh, maybe that's like that key blast thing where he like stood on it and stuff during Tournament of Power. You know, that could be it. Um, I don't know. And then the next note it says there's a new costume for Dragon Ball Super Bulma, which is uh, it. It's just the one that you know we got in the. I think it's just the one we have right now in the what's it called the Hero Coliseum Bulma. Uh, it, yeah, it just says there's a new costume for Bulma, which is just NPC Bulma, not actually playable. And now it says, this update sees the return of some Xenoverse 1 characters, including all forms of Demigra and some minor characters. So, like, so, you know, we're getting uh, first form Demigra, final form. Now, what I don't know about this is if it's saying we're going to have them playable, or if it's just going to give us that thing for the Switch where we can just go back and play Xenoverse 1 if we want to. I mean... I guess so for the Xenoverse 1 thing. many Most people probably won't. I mean, I guess that would make the most sense because why would they make that exclusive to Switch and not give it to us? That Everyone was thinking they were going to give it to us later. But, I mean, I'll do it if I can play as Demigra in all his forms. Like, I'll do it for that. But I just don't feel like going back and recreating my Xenoverse 1 character just play Xenoverse 1 again. But, I mean, I guess it'll be, like, better graphics. Probably not the Xenoverse 2 mechanics. Then it'd be too easy. So, I don't know. That, that one's kind of weird for that you know that that one's kind of a a weird area too you know that that weird gray area it's just like i mean it's probably gonna be that xenoverse one pack because why wouldn't it be if it's gonna be demigra i don't know what it means by minor characters because i think every character from xenoverse yeah every character for xenoverse one is in this game unless they mean like the npcs like Tano force and you know whoever else uh yeah so oh and then clearly for dlc 6 they already said we're getting a new form of goku which is going to be ultra instincts as this one so, so i mean right here it says jiren so it's definitely like 200 percent going to be ultra instinct goku so yeah okay and then the last bit of news that was revealed uh like last minute right after i saw the stuff about foo that rhyme style uploaded is um all right, so we're getting Super Saiyan Blue for custom characters. Yes, custom Saiyans, you can go Super Saiyan Blue. Now, it there was a tweet from, uh, uh, I forgot his name, but there was a tweet from one of the data miners. I'll put it up on the screen. I think it was like Cynix or something. I think that was his name. Um, there was a tweet from him, and he went to the files. And at first he said it was like a new Awoken skill for Blue Goku. But then apparently he looked more, and it's Super Saiyan Blue for custom characters, which it's like, dude, that is so amazing. And then the proof that, and what he did with it is that, um, now it's not in the game yet, because in this clip that he has, it shows him like transforming Super Saiyan Blue. All he did was he threw on the like, the files from it, like the like you know the stuff that turns your hair blue and the changes the aura up, that those files, and he threw them on over potential unleash to see what it would do. And yeah, it turns your hair blue, and it gives you a new aura. So we're getting Super Saiyan Blue for Cax, or cu custom characters. Now, the only thing I can say about that is, what about the other races? Because, I mean, I guess it makes sense, because everyone's been saying that since Golden Freeze is out, we need to get Super Saiyan Blue. But, like, I don't know what they could do with the other races. Like, maybe give us all the God Forks. Because if they do, then, like, literally, my newest video I just released, it's, like, that's literally <laughs> what it's about. So, yeah, I don't know. But we're getting Super Saiyan Blue for customs, finally. And, I mean... It would still be cool for me. I I'd still want to see Super Saiyan God, but yeah, we're getting blue. So yeah, it's hype. But yeah, and then um for further proof about Fu, 
out, like, how he's actually in the game. Uh, go watch Rhymestyle's video. He explains all that stuff, you know. This video is kind of hidden in 10 minutes, so I'll see. So that was all the news. We got Super Saiyan Blue. We got all those new characters coming out. And clearly Ultra Instinct. They just didn't list it because, you know, it was just new form for Goku. They already said so. They already confirmed it, though, so. Yeah, until the next video, though. That's it for all the news. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. And peace. See you guys later.